some people, we know the, most of the people in the community that we live, somewhere or the others, they will tell us that we look, we believe about the God. Is it not sufficient for the God if we just believe Him? Why we need to pass the test? We wanted to live a luxury life without any difficulties. So we may also rationally ask them, can you pass a life without any difficulties? Because if you do not earn this month, or do not work this month, you will not find something to eat in the next month. Maybe the government will give you some compensation or social. But that is not enough to live a life like you want or I want or the other people want. We are dependent on the others. We cannot be independent on the basis of our earnings. So we need to work so that we can earn for the next month. And if we work somewhere, we have to have some sort of a stress. We have to give labors so that we can earn. So in this journey of life, we also have to do something because we have a life in the hereafter. God Almighty, He also gave another reasons. In the third chapter of the Quran, Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse 185, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that Kullu maut. Every soul that He has created shall have a test of death. And the final recompensation will be given in the day of judgment. Those among you, Allah is addressing to the human and the jinn, will save from the fire, from the hell fire, shall attain the objective of this life in this world. And this life of this world is nothing but a chattel and mere. So this life is a test and we have to pass the test. What? Why? Because we have a life in the hereafter. And in the hereafter, if we can only save ourselves from the hell fire, then we shall attain the objective of this life. So there is another reason of this life that we must save ourselves from hellfire in the hereafter. And that is also very important. How to save life, our next life from the hellfire? God Almighty gives the instructions. If you do these and these things, you will surely save yourself from the hellfire. Like the teacher, he gives that if you follow this textbook, you will surely pass in the examination. Very simple message, organized, unambiguous statements. To pass the examinations of the Creator is very simple. Very simple message in very simple way. Allah the Almighty says in Surah Al Asr, one of the most smallest surah in the Quran, chapter 103, verse 1 to 3, that while us, by the token of time, the Creator is taking a oath, that innal insan alafi khusri, that most certainly the, all the humans, they are in a lost, illa lazina amanu, except those, those who have faith, qamilus salihat, those who do righteous deed, watawa sabil haq, those who exhort people in the truth, watawa sabil sab, and those who bear patience. So the objective of this life, if we just closely summarize, are three things. Just three things. First things is that we must seek the pleasure of our Creator. How? By obeying His law and the commandments. That is the first purpose of our life. The second purpose of our life is to have peace in this world. The world, the life that we are passing. And the third objective of this life is to attain paradise in the hereafter. And to achieve these three purposes of our life, we have to do just four things. Based on the verse from Surah Asr chapter 103 verse 1 to 3. God Almighty, He gives us only four requirements to achieve the purpose of this life. He says that you must have a purity of your faith. You must worship only one God. You must obey only Him. Purity of faith. And then He says, what we have to do is, we must have Amla Salihah, that is, the piety. 
all our righteous deeds. We must make righteous deeds, good deeds. We must fear God and we should act according to His law and the commandments. The third thing that we have to do is very simple, is the propagations. What, all, what God Almighty has given to us in truth, we just have to pass this truth in a mutual concept to the others. The fourth requirement to attain the purpose of the life is to have patience. So to summarize that to achieve the three P, the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, peace in this life and paradise in the hereafter, we have to do four P's. The first P is the purity of our faith. And the second P, we must have piety, righteous deeds. The third P, that we must propagate the faith. And the fourth thing is that we must have patience. And if we want to achieve the purpose of the life, very simple things that we want to do is these four things. And for those people, those who do not believe about God, we have different methodology just to give them an understanding that why they must ponder and realize factually, reasonably and objectively with the scientific knowledge that there is the existence of the Creator. And being a rational person, we must follow the Creator. Just to give an example of the summer seasons. We are passing the summer season now very close to the summer. A few months ago it was winter. A few months ago it was rainy season. A few months ago it was another season. Yes. So there are four seasons especially in Sweden. But many countries have many more seasons. Rainy season. We have spring season. So we have autumn, winter, summer. In my country we have six seasons. So God Almighty is now giving us an indication to see about His creation. Allah the Almighty, in the second chapter, we don't need to go to so far. In the second chapter of the Quran, chapter 2, verse 164, He says that the creation, that behold, He is addressing to us, behold, see the heavens and the earth, see the nights and the day, the alternations of the night and the day, the creation of the heaven and the earth, and all these things, there is a sign for the people who understand, who think. Very simple message by the Creator, that look how this night is falling, day after night, and after day after night. How is coming? Who is controlling? Are the humans are the controller of these things? And we have to rationally agree, no. So God Almighty, He prescribed that look, I send down the rain from the sky so that when the earth is dead it gets life and he produce we produce vegetations. For what purpose he produce vegetations? So God Almighty He prescribe the reasons so that it can benefit you, the mankind. So this is very simple things that we can put forward an argument to the persons that look. Think about yourself, about the human body, leave aside about the other creations. Think about this brain, human brain, how this brain is performing. We are thinking, every moment we are thinking. Thousands of millions of calculations is being done within a minute amount of seconds. We decide this and this. If we look back to the creation of the human, like the vehicles, like the rockets, like the satellites, you see, if we just closely look back, all this creation of the human and all these creations coming from the mind, mind of the human. And if we see all these things that we human are created, we will be amazed to see the creation of ours. And if we just look back, go back to the center where this thinking is coming from, you will be amazed to know, if you have a scientific background, the miracle of the functions of the brain, how this human brain is functioning. So we may rationally ask to the people who claim themselves to be an atheist or not a believer, that look about yourself, about your brain, the things that you are thinking. How it is calculating, how it is distinguished between these and these. 
look at the eyes that we see the things. We don't, we don't need to make a camera to balance the distance. You know, this eye, immediately it balances the distance. It can focus the things. Our tongue, from where this voice is originated. If we just see the function of our 